Good morning, sir. Mr. Chibiso Bona, good morning, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening slash good morning. Because we are walking towards the new day now. Krista Bella, good evening slash good morning. Because if you are within Nigeria, it's good morning. Outside the country now is, if you are within Nigeria, it's good evening. Outside the country by now is good morning. So when I say good morning, I'm correct. When I say good evening, I'm correct. Good evening if you are within. Good morning if you are outside. You are welcome. Shibuzo, you are welcome. No, no, you are welcome. You are welcome, Glow, you are welcome. You are welcome. Good morning to Nigeria. Good evening to Nigeria. Good morning to outsiders. We are in between the time. Some are in their morning, some are in their evening. Hallelujah. Just hear the music on the background because this music is very, very important in this message. It tells God to show mercy. Just hear that music. You have showed me mercy. You have showed me mercy. To be on Good evening, ma. Mommy, I do good evening, ma. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Heaven is about to show us mercy tonight. He's about to show us mercy. Mercy is going to speak and grace will obey and favor will succumb. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is my night of mercy. Sure. 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 Sweetheart Christabella, welcome. I know you are watching from Ghana. Good morning, sir. Apostle Prince, you are watching from South Africa. It's your morning. Good morning, sir. You are welcome, my dear. I can feel his presence. You are welcome. You are welcome. My night of mercy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Grant need, okay, that you are welcome. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody is about to take over. Overtaking is allowed. Overtaking is allowed. Overtaking is allowed. There is a relay in the spiritual realm. Somebody is about to carry the trophy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's pray. Father, we'll give you praise because the hour has come. We'll thank you for your mercies and compassionness all through the month. We'll say, Hi, Lord, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. We commit this moment into your mighty care. Come and speak to us. Bless us. Liberate us. Advertise us. Showcase us. Baptize us with testimonies for the new month. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Without wasting much time, I'll be reading from them. From First Samuel, a place you know very well. First Samuel chapter 16. Let me read from verse 6. So it was when they came that he looked at Elia and said, Surely the Lord has anointed his before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not look at his appearance or at the height of his stature because I have, I have refused him. For the Lord does not look as man see. For men look at the outward appearance, but the Lord look at the heart. So Jesse called Abimedal and made him pass before Samuel. 
And he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Then Jesse Meshama to pass by. And he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Thou just met seven of his sons pass before Samuel. And Samuel said to him, The Lord have not chosen this. And Samuel said to Jesse, I hear all the young men here. Then he said, Thou remainest the youngest, and he is in and he keepeth the sheep. Samuel said to Jesse, Send and fresh him. For we will not sit down till he cometh here. Verse 12. So he sent and fresh him. Now he was ready with the, with the bright eyes and golden look. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for the, he is the one. I'll be preaching on a topic that said a king in the bush. A king in the bush. A king in the bush. If a king can be in the bush, if a future king can dwell in the bush, can learn leadership in the bush, wherever you are, you are there for training. When we are talking about a kingdom in the bush, I want to let you know that how a man was born is not important. What is important is where God is taking that person. You don't know your father, you don't know your mother, is that one a topic? Your mother came back to you out of wedlock. That is not a topic. What is important in the life of every man is where God is taking you to. God created you for a purpose. You have never been a non entity for one day. You are a personality. Can somebody type it? I'm not a non entity. A king in the bush is my topic. I'm not a non entity. I'm not a non entity. I'm not a non entity. I'm a personality. Sacrifice of men are useless when Jehovah is involved. Opinions of men are useless when God takes over the journey of your destiny. No man can stop your season. When heaven prepares you for next level. When God defines your destiny, the definition of men are useless. A king in the bush. I am here to tell you tonight that you have overstayed your welcoming challenges. You have overstayed your welcoming that one prayer point. You have overstayed your welcoming that level you find yourself. You have overstayed your welcome in that manipulation. You have overstayed your welcome in this stage where you find yourself. I'm speaking on a topic that said a king in the bush. Zanana It doesn't matter where you transfer the destiny bearer. When the time comes, you cannot stop that destiny from showcasing. You can't stop that miracle from manifesting. Bible said there is a man called David. This young man was a bright young man. He was born as the last son of the family. By right, he's supposed to be pampered. By right, he's supposed to be taken care of. But yet, they took him to the bush. Let, let, let me tell you something. It is not them that took him to bush. But destiny took him to bush. Because had it been that God waited for this young man to grow, he wouldn't have been there. He wouldn't have, have leadership at that age. Bible said there is a man called Samuel. There is a man called Jesse. And there is a man called Saul. And there is a king called God. A day came God said to Samuel. How long will you mourn for Saul? It's time to anoint another king. No matter how strong every negative doctor could be. There is an aspiring date for it. How long will you mourn for Saul? I came to ask you, how long can you cry? Will you cry for your enemies? How long will you cry for one challenge? The God that rejected Saul is rejecting your enemies now. The God that rejected Saul is rejecting the manipulations of men. How long will you mourn for Saul? 
For I have appointed a new king for myself. Heaven said that I should come and let you know. For he has appointed a destiny bearer. A new destiny bearer. A new destiny bearer. A new destiny depositor. And that is you. How long will you mourn for so? I sent you to the house of Jesse. Go and anoint another king for me. I see heaven sending angels to your doorpost. I hear heaven saying, How long will you mourn for the enemies? How long will you cry for challenges? I'm sending a solution. I'm sending a testimony. I hear God is saying, How long will you pray for one prayer point? I'm sending a testimony to your doorpost. Manana Escoto Libra. In Danana Libra in the Bosha. Bible said, and Samuel took off a journey. Bible said, and when he came to the house of Jesse, remember God said to him, Arise and go. And he said, If Solo hear it, he will kill me. But behold, God said to him, Take a heart. Tell them you are going to, to sacrifice for me. When God sends you a journey, he gives you wisdom to protect your journey. He gives you knowledge to guide your journey. When God sends you to a journey, he gives you a divine protection. Divine grace goes with you. He said, go. Samuel, go. Bible said, when the earth saw him, when men saw him, they look at him and they ask him a question. Peaceable you come. He said, peaceable I come to see you all. Bible said, do you know why they asked him peaceable he come? Because that was a generation when prophets are prophets. That was a generation when there is a difference between a pastor and a member. That was a generation when there is a difference between a pastor and ordinary deacon. You know, sometimes there are some pastors I see, I'm not trying to criticize anybody. Unless they tell you they are pastors, you won't know. Why there are some you see, the mark of servantship, why the record is on their face. Bible said, and Jesse made his first son to pass by. And Jesse said, neither have the Lord chosen this. Some told him, the Lord has sent me to your doorpost to come and anoint a king for himself. Jesse jumped out and said, I know whom he is. Let me just say that. Because for him to rush the first son, he brought out the first son. Bible said that we are beautiful. They were handsome, good looking. Their countenance was good. Their height is good. Their handsomeness was powerful. Their academic background is powerful. Everything they have is powerful. But God said no. He made Shama to pass by. He made the first child to pass by. And the Lord said no. When the first one came, and the Lord said no, Jesse became confused. Little did they know that leadership is not by size. Leadership is not by academic qualification. Leadership is not by handsomeness. Leadership is not by academic qualification. Leadership is not by handsomeness. Leadership is not by size. Leadership is not by height. Leadership is by the selection of the Holy Ghost. That's why the Bible said, For I show with mercy to whom I want to show mercy. Heaven has sent me to come and let you know that in the month of August, mercy will speak for you. Mercy will speak for you. Favor will be your logo. Mercy will be your slogan. Favor will be your logo. Grace will be your will be your will be your label. He made his first son to come. Little did he know that leadership is not by size. Who marks you? Leadership is not by background. Who flattered you? Leadership is not by handsomeness. Who said no? Who said you are not qualified? Leadership is not by what they say. Leadership is by the selection of the Holy Ghost. It doesn't matter where they place you. That is going to be about tongue tonight. Those in the back is going to be in the front. Those in the front is about to be at the back. Because there is a grace that is coming. Leadership is not by size. Leadership is not by height. Leadership is not by handsomeness. Leadership is not by academic qualification. But leadership is by the selection of the Holy Ghost. That's why the Bible says, For I show it mercy to whom I want to show mercy. 
Papa have come to show I and you mercy tonight. God have come to show, show you and I mercy tonight. And I declare that mercy upon you and upon your family in the name of Jesus. Mercy is knocking at your door. Grace is lifting you now. And favor is welcoming you. Receive your favor. Type it, I receive my favor. Receive your favor. Receive your favor. August will favor you. August will promote you. August will open your doors. August will put smiles on your face. August will give you testimony. That miracle you have been expecting. August will release it to you. In the name of Jesus. Bible said, and Jesse made the first son to pass by. Immediately, Samuel rejected the first son. When Jesse brought the second person, opinion changed. See, let me let us know something. When the enemies fell in their first target, they were still living under probability. When your enemies fell, fell the first target, they were still living under shambles. Jesse boldly, proudly presented his first son. Immediately it was rejected. His language changed. After these prayers tonight, the language of your future will change. The language of your miracles will change. The language of your health will change. The language of your business will change. Every language in your life. Your level is going to change. Your language is going to be speaking wealth. Your language is going to be speaking health. Your language is going to be speaking favor. Your language is going to be speaking open doors. Language is going to be speaking promotion. Language is going to be speaking upliftment. Receive them all in the name of Jesus. Zalebra Escotolebra in the Nenia in the Yaka. Bible said, and Jesse brought out the second child. And he said, Neither have the Lord chosen this. Do you know why he said it neither? Because the proud opinion has failed. That's why the second one is under probability. Neither, neither have the Lord chosen this. Bible said he made seven of his sons to pass by. And the Lord did not choose any. Hear me. I don't care to know those that you think that they have bypassed you. You think that the rest have favored them. Jehovah said that I should come and let you know. As you cross over today, my God is crossing you over to a new testimony. Heaven is crossing you over to a new favor. The stories you told January to July, you will never tell it again. A new story is coming in your mouth. A new promotion is locating you. A new testimony is coming. New healing is taking over. Open doors is taking over. Another level of wealth is taking over. A better amen can give you a better testimony. A louder amen can give you a louder testimony. I have come to cross you over. I have come to take you to next level. I don't know the challenge you have been facing. I don't know the prayer point that have been delaying you. Jehovah said that I should let you know that their prayers must be answered this time. Zalebra escoto lebra in the nana in the bosha. Le papa sundere bosha galebra escoto. No excess luggage will cross with you. Your tears of pain is an excess luggage. Tears of sorrow is an excess luggage. Jehovah have come to lay aside the weight. Ma lebra escoto lebra in the bosha galebra in daya. Zanana in the bosha galebra escoto lebra in the bosha. Look at what the Bible said. And he met seven of his sons to pass by. And the Lord did not choose any. Thank God for spiritual eyes of Samuel. Thank God for spiritual ear of Samuel. That Samuel can hear from the Lord. The worst challenge you will have is dealing with men who don't have a designing spirit. When you deal with men without a designing spirit. Little gossip can separate them from you. I pray for you. No man will separate your destiny helper from you. Any destiny helper they have separated from you. Today, God is recalling it back. Now, now look at what happened. Bible said, and God said to Samuel, Samuel, 
have not chosen any. Somehow, my choice have not showcased. Somehow, my mind have not manifested yet. I pray for you. Wherever your destiny helper is, no matter what they used to confuse that person, gossip, discussion, backbiting, manipulation, anything holding your destiny helper from manifesting, from showcasing, I lose your destiny helper today. I lose your destiny helper. I lose your ministerial helper. I lose your courtship. I lose your relationship. I lose your conception. I command the eyes of your destiny to open. I command the ear of your destiny helper to open. Some of our destiny helpers are waiting to hear from God. Therefore, Jehovah, open the eyes of our destiny helpers. Open the ears of our destiny helpers. Open the mind of our destiny helpers. After praying for you tonight, your destiny helper will no longer say no to you. Your destiny connector will no longer say no to you. I pray with you now. I stretch forth my hands. Wherever your destiny job is, wherever your destiny business is, wherever your destiny helper is, their language must be yes. Their language must be yes. No more not to your testimony. No more not to your destiny helpers. No more not to your destiny carriers. No more not to your destiny socketers. No more not to your destiny connectors. No more not to your destiny favors. They must favor you. And Samuel said, The Lord have not chosen any. And he asked him, Is there any man left? That I may show him mercy. Let me remind you. How a man was born cannot stop what God prepares for him. We are a man based cannot stop what the Lord prepared for him. How you came into existence don't have anything to do with your destiny. When the Lord decides to settle a man, no man can stop him. When the Lord decides to visit a man, no man can stop him. Who mocked you yesterday? We are the day sent you. With manipulation, they have sent you in the bush. With gossip and bad button, they have transferred you. With manipulation, they have sent your womb out of your life. <laughs> Do you know there are people they are living, but their wombs are not living with them? I can't sue the woman. I lay my hand on her, I didn't see any womb. And I asked a woman, I didn't see any womb in your, in your stomach. And she said, I went to hospital, the same thing was told. And she brought out her result. She is breathing, but there is no womb. Somebody out of manipulation interchanges. Who interchanges your marriage? Who interchanges your favor? A man who is called to be a king was in the bush. Where you are, don't have anything to do with where you are going now. Jehovah sent me to come and let you know that he is leading you to where your destiny is. No matter what men are saying, your destiny awaits for you. No matter what people are saying, your miracle awaits for you. Do you know that the, some children's brain have been sent to bush? Do you know that some people's destiny have been sent to bush? Some people's talents have been sent to bush. They walk like lion, they eat like rat. They keep asking what is happening. My dear, your destiny is far from you, that's why. But I pray with you, I pray for you. Jehovah is restoring your destiny. You will never cross the month of August the same. You will not see the month of August the same. Libra Escotonia. What intimidated you in this month of July will not intimidate you in August. What fought you in this month of July will not fight you in August. I ratify your August before August comes. In the next 14 minutes, we will enter into August. I'm talking about here in Nigeria. Those in outside, I decree and I declare that your August will start favoring you now. Zanana Elia Indele. Lebra Esko Tole Baba Indaya. I pray for those watching from outside. As you have entered into your month of August, I command goodies to follow you. I command favor to follow you. I command open door to follow you. 
I command favor to follow you. I command testimony to follow you. In the name of Jesus. I pray for those within the country. That is still in the month of July. No liability will cross over with you. No sickness will cross over with you. Disappointment will not cross over with you. Scarcity will not cross over with you. A better enemy can give you a reasonable testimony. Zanana Escotolebra. I wonder how they sent him to Bush. A last boy who's supposed to be comfortable. A last boy who's supposed to be eating. And Jesse and, and Simon asks a question. Jesse, are they all your children? He said, yes, but thou remaineth. That simply means he is not qualified to be. I don't blame men who disqualify you. They disqualify you because they can't see what is in you. But that is a God that is seeing what is in you. That is a Jehovah that is seeing what is in you. He has sent me to come and tell you that days of your manifestation have arrived. Days of your manifestation has come. Days of your testimony have emerged. I pray with you. Any miracle you have been expecting, receive your manifestation in the name of Jesus. Receive your fulfillment in the name of Jesus. I don't care to know where their gossip have sent you. I don't know the extent they have rubbished your name. I don't know the extent they have mixed your name up. But I have a God that have an answer to every question. When he give an answer, no man can stop him. When he defines a destiny, no man can stop the definition. Jehovah have come to define your destiny. Jehovah have come to define your miracle. Your days of coronation is around. Eskotone Baba Indana. And Jesse said, yes. These are my sons, but thou remaineth the youngest. Why did he define him that way? Jesse is indirectly telling Samuel, if men who at all are not qualified, is it a cow dealer, a sheep master, a sheep boy that will be qualified? Jesse might be saying in his heart, if my first son, if my seven sons are not qualified, is it a man who is not up to the age of leadership that will be qualified? But little did he know that leadership is not by age. When God wants to make a man a king, he gives him wisdom of leadership. I pray with you today. Zanana Escotolebra in Danania. Le Papa Sundele Malebra. Receive your grace of leadership in the name of Jesus. Heaven is releasing the grace of controlling your future. God is releasing the grace of controlling your miracles. Who disqualified you? I don't blame them because they don't know you. Who disqualified your marriage? I don't blame them because they can't talk about you. I have a God that replies my mockers. I have a God that replies those that is mocking me. Jehovah said that I should let you know that in the month of August, he will reply men that mocked you. He will reply men that gossiped you. He will reply men that envied you. He will reply men that did their manipulations. Hear me? In the month of August, the manipulations of your enemies will backfire. If you shout a better enemy, your enemy will not see the second day of August. Their enchantments will backfire. Their involvements will backfire. I pray with you. Any time that 40 other months, will never dwell in August with you. God is ratifying your case. Your testimony is swallowing your challenges. I see your testimony opening them out. I see your marriage opening them out. Your marriage is swallowing the spirit of a marriage. Your testimony is swallowing your challenges. Healing is swallowing sickness today. And he said, there remained the youngest. Who called you an entity? Who called you nobody? Who said no to your success? In their clique, you are not involved. In their level, you are not involved. 
But there is a God who is above above. The God that qualifies unqualified. I am a living witness of the grace of that qualifies unqualified. Let me tell you a little history of my before I close. When I was in secondary school, I don't know how to read. I don't know how to write. When we took our junior work, if you ask my friends, they will tell you. If my friends watch this video, they will confirm what I'm saying. We will be more than 10 in a group. Others will tell first, second, third, fourth, fifth. All through the days of my secondary school, my eyes never saw 30. If we get to a class where we are 40, my position is 38 out of 40. Nobody owns 39. I'm not, see, see, see. My form mistress, my last form mistress was you, you call it. Madam Allen was once my form mistress. I didn't say don't ask them. Mr. Waka taught me. Mr. Sonia taught me. Madam Obwe, he taught me. I'm telling you, my teachers, those you can confirm from. In a class of 40, I'm trying to tell you where grace qualifies unqualified. My position is 38 out of 40. Nobody owns 39. It's a bonus to my own. In a class of 50, my position is 49 or 48 out of 50. Nobody comes on my back. I can't read. I can't write. But grace qualified me during my just history. One thing that knows me is that I pray so much. I don't joke with prayers. In as much, I don't know how to read, I don't know how to write. Even as that, I was a house help. During my junior work, I prayed and prayed and prayed. I said, God, I wish to know how to read, but I can't. I wish to know how to write, but I can't. Or help me. Jesse said, Thou remaineth the youngest. That simply means, if capable men are not qualified, what will qualify David? That remaineth the youngest. During my junior year, I will write my name in my palm. And I will enter into a Sam hall. And I will copy my name from my palm. I have friends. Let me make sure the name of my classmate. Ezie Khan is my classmate. Chidi Chidi is my classmate. Joy Obona is my classmate. Owan Mbobyoko is my classmate. Icho Manyog is my classmate. Queen Aresa from Ungu is my classmate. Where are them? Chidi Ma from Eloma is my classmate. Where are them? Where are them? Where are them? I'm talking about people. Nena Agala is my classmate. Ask them if you watch this, if you know these people. At least you zap the people. Ask those people. I write my name in my palm. And I will enter into a Sam hall. And I will write it. I will copy my name from my palm. If you write my name in ordinary paper and give me, I will not know it's my name. At my JS sister. During our junior work, I was expecting, I was expecting F, 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 F all through. But I prayed. What God did is what I don't know. Do you know that after the junior work, many of my friends retake some courses. But I didn't retake any course. Do you know why? Not because I wrote well. But because I don't know what God did. I keep saying it. Maybe the lecturer gave me question mark. Maybe he didn't put full stop and that becomes seven. You know, question mark without full stop under is seven. I guess, I don't know. Because I'm still imagining how I cleared 12 papers without failing any in my junior work. When I know that I can't read, I can't write. Even when I'm peeping, I will still write it wrong. Yet, I didn't retain any course. If you ask me why, and I will answer you, on your time, Nezuru, over time, Yesuya. If I didn't write well, 
when we are six in one pew? Is it when I will go for the taking? When will be two in one pew? Is it when I will write well? God knew that if I miss opportunity of six in the pew, that opportunity of two will not favor me. Till date, I don't know how they marked it. Even my aunt I lived with was bored to go to the principal to ask if the result I came back with is my result because she knows my capacity. She knows my level that I can't read, that I can't write, but I'm surprised I cleared my papers. I'm trying to tell you grace, qualifying unqualified. I'm trying to let you know when grace is involved. I'm trying to know when God wants to settle a man. When God is involved, opinions of men became useless. When God is involved, ideas of men became useless. When God is involved, definition of men are not useful. As the people I mentioned, I didn't retake my junior way. Not because I can write. When I brought my result, three of our friends he said, ah, if Oluti Kano can clear her papers, we, we will have a one. But yet, those that made that comment retake some courses. But I didn't retake any. Not because I can read. Not because I can write. But because mockers were waiting for me to walk. Laughters were waiting for me to laugh. By backers were waiting for me to come back. And serious care was waiting for me to come back. God, who knows that my skin don't deserve that care? Who knows that the mockers don't need to mock me? Who knows how to reply my enemies? I cleared my junior wife. That also happened in my senior wife. Till I took my senior work, I don't know how to read. I don't know how to write. I learned how to read recently. It was when God was calling me that he taught me how to read and write. During my senior work, I had the same experience. And that was when God confirmed to me that he's calling me. I'm trying to tell you that just he said no. But little did he know that his opinion is not the mind of God. I had the same experience in my senior way. The God that visited me. The God that changed my status. The God that taught me how to react. I decree. His mercy will speak for you in the name of Jesus. During my senior way, I had the same experience. I was sleeping in the night. I want to read law, yet I don't know how to read and how to write. A night I would take my literature, a man appeared in my room. When I look at him, I thought he's a human being. He said, to confirm to you that I'm calling you to be a minister. In your course today, you will not take it. He said, boy, you will have it a while, you will pass it. I thought it was a joke. I entered into a Zamor and I felt sick. Fever from nowhere. That is when grace is unqualified to be qualified. Zalebra escoto lebra in the nebo shaga lebra escoto nanana in the Ma lebra in the nebo shaga lebra escoto lebra in the nebo. Lebra basun de nebo shaga. Lebra escoto lebra in the nebo shaga lebra mahulia. Zanana Elia in Daya Malebra Escoto Lebra. That is when grace makes us qualified to be qualified. That night, a man appeared to me and said to me, It's time to say to you, I will take this exam for you. And I thought it was a joke. I entered into a sample and I fell sick. I couldn't write, I couldn't do anything. And I left his upper with illness. On the day of my literature, I had that experience. On the day of my CRK, I had that experience. On the day of my literature, I had that experience. 
That of my seer, okay. I had that experience. Do you know the day of the English? The same experience. But behold, something happened. What happened? When my result came out, those courses I didn't take, I had them A1. And that was an evidence that heaven is calling me. That was an evidence that Jehovah called me for a purpose. That was an evidence that grace is with me. That was an evidence that God has not forsaken me yet. That was an evidence that God is still interested in me. That was how I confirmed my calling. So when I said that grace makes them qualified to be qualified, I am an evidence. I am a product of grace. He qualifies me in my junior way. He qualified me in my senior way. Who told you that God is not with you? Who told you that your opportunity is over? Behold, Jesse said, Thou remaineth the youngest. And Samuel said, Can I set my eyes on him? And they went and brought him. Behold, once they brought him, when they brought him, grace qualified him. God has not said no to you. Grace can still qualify you. Grace can still speak for you. He said, bring the young man and let me see. And they brought him. Behold. He said, this is the man I'm looking for. God said to him, Jesse, arise and ordain him. Bible said his eyes was fresh. His countenance was good. That simply means when God qualifies the man, he makes the man. When God qualifies the man, he beautifies that man. I came to give you an information that God has qualified you in this month of August. It's time for prayers. We are ready in August. Zalebra escoto lebra in the bosha. Lepa basundele ma lebra escoto lebra in the bosha. Manana nana in the bosha escoto lebra in the. Ma lebra esco. Nenia in the bosha. Grace have come to qualify you. Grace have come to qualify you. That marriage they denied you. Grace have come to release it. That testimony they denied you. Grace have come to release it. That connection they denied you. Grace have come to release it. That favor they denied you. Grace have come to release it. That promotion they denied you. Grace have come to release it. I pray with you. I pray for you. In this month of August, favor will follow you. Open door will follow you. Divine grace will follow you. Divine favor will follow you. Healing shall be your portion. Wealth will answer you like never before. Promotion shall be your portion. That prayer point that be delayed, you will no longer delay again. I see grace speaking for you. I see favor speaking for you. I see testimony speaking for you. Zalebra escoto nebra. In danana lebra escoto malebra in denenia. Na baba elia escoto nanania. In delebo shaga lebra escoto. Zananania in delebo shaga. I pray for you. I pray with you. That miracle you have been waiting to see. That money you have been praying to touch. That grace you have been praying to see. That marriage you'll be praying to marry. Jehovah is releasing it now. Ma lebra escoto lebra. In the nana lebra escoto. Zanana elia elia. The God that produced the king. And thread him in the bush. And showcase him to take care of men. God is some paper in you. Jehovah said that I should let you know. That that level you were before. Was a period of your some paper was a period of your preparation 
was a period of your making, was a period of your pimpling. Jehovah said it's your showcasing period. August must bless you. August will showcase you. August will promote you. August will lift you. I declare for a lift. I declare for your promotion. I declare for your favor. I declare a grace that will not stop on the way. My lebra is lebra in the motion. I don't know the prayer points you want. I want to set to people's prayer points in the next five minutes. Start typing your prayer points. I want to start settling it now. What do you want? My lebra is lebra in the Le Baba in the motion. Your period of some preparing is over. Your period of making is over. Your period of pimpling is over. Your period of training is over. My God is about to showcase you. He's about to sample you. It's your sampling period. I'm waiting for your prayer point. What do you want? Type your prayer point. I heard him clearly. He says, set two people's matter in the month of August. And I will grant them the hard desire in the month of August. Type your prayer points. Zalebra Eskoto. Type your experience. Type your challenges. I'm set to settle it now. Zanana Elia. Yes, my period of training is over. It's my showcasing time. What do you want? What do you want? This is a time of settling things. Because some God must release your blessings. What do you need? Type the prayer point that refused to be answered on this one. Le Papa Escotonia. In Dana Libra in the lead. If grace can showcase me, if grace can speak for me, Le Papa Escoto, receive your job right now. I need a change of job. NDIC. Is it where you want to walk? I release that grace now. No man will say no to you. No man will say no to you. No man will say no to you. Zalebra Escoto. In the level Shagalebra. Zandelele Escoto. Malebra in Daya. Whatsoever that he will drink it. Jehovah Le. Le Baba ba in the level I need a name in my office. I need a financial breakthrough. Receive your financial breakthrough. Money is locating you. What is locating you now? I need a financial breakthrough. I need favor. Favor will be released already. Zalebra Indaya. It's my showcasing time. You don't need to repeat it. I have settled that one. What I need now is your prayer point. I need God's grace. Salvation in my life. I declare my angels minister to you tonight. I declare wisdom, favor upon you. Lebra in the Bosha. Supernatural payment of all my bills. Jehovah, today you are releasing supernatural payment for your servant. I command wealth to locate you. I command wisdom to locate you. Ministerial wisdom, receive it now. So you have it now in the name of Jesus. I want Chidera, I want God to give Chidera a job. Hey, in a bad Zalebra in the bow. Job in H. U. H. G. A bad She did not receive your job now. Malebra Escoto. Chukwa Mecca, you are blessed now. Receive your job. Receive your appointment. Receive your work. Lendelebo Escoto Nania in Dala. Keep typing. Even you have typed before, type again. I receive my financial breakthrough. Yes, ma. Financial breakthrough is locating you. No one can stop it. With the oil that is on me, I stand in my 49th nice prayers I'm doing. Your miracle will never say no to you. Your testimony will never say no to you. I'm on 49th nice journey. And that is where I stand to settle your matter. Much of all God's must surely you blesses. I watch for your prayer point. My lepra is koto. In the level shaga. Manana Elia in the level Shagalebra Zanana Indaya Marita settlement before Esmas. Esmas is too far. Hey, I release it this month. Let 
Let the real person showcase. Let the real person manifest. It's an insult to December is too far. I declare it now. I declare a call that will give you what you want. I want God to help my family establish my father. Receive your fatherly blessings in the name of Jesus. Salvation of John and Prince and my children. John Prince and all the children of this family receive your salvation today. May angels visit them tonight. I receive my supernatural payment and supplies. Come on, receive it now in the name of Jesus. My labor is cut off. I need money to open my shop. I declare, let that money locate you. Receive that money for that shop. In the name of Jesus. My sister's marriage. I hope you need it this month, this year. I release a marriage in the name of Jesus. I receive my marital settlement. No man can stop you. <laughs> Any man that was stopping, that was standing the gap will go. <laughs> Jehovah will silence that man. Your testimony tonight is unstoppable. Keep tapping your prayer points. I have three minutes to go. Zanana Elia. Eskotole Baba. In the Lebo Shaga Lebra. Zanana Eskoto Lebra. In Diama Lebra Eskoto. I want all my what? Fabrics, okay? To be sold before next week. Hey, it's possible. I command customers from the south, from the east, from the west, from the north. I channel them to your shop. I direct them to your doorpost. I direct them wherever. If you are selling through phone call, through contact, I command them to start calling. If you have a shop, I direct your step to your shop. I need a financial settlement. Receive it right now. Wealth is the cheapest miracle. The most commonless miracle. Men can walk up and give you money. So receive it. Hey! God, you are healing this eye now. This eye don't need tomorrow to be healed. Hey! Lebra Escoto. Every challenge is of a younger sister. <laughs> Princess Joy, receive your miracles and testimony. In the Lebosha, Galebra, in the Lebosha. Zanana Escoto Lebra. Your eye is healed. Princess Joy is, is, is receiving miracles. Testimonies. Malebra Escoto. I want to marry this year. Is that very possible? I command the right man to your doppels. I command the right man to your doppels. I command the righteous person to your doppels. In the name of Jesus. Malebra Escoto Lebra. I have a minute to go. Zanana Elia. Is somebody typing something? Lebra in the Bosha, Lebra Escotona, in the Bosha, Lebra Basundele, Ma Lebra Escoto, to all the prayer points I mentioned now, to all the prayer points that, that is posted, Zanana in there, any prayer point that will come to this comment wall, any prayer point that will come to this wall of this program, I say to you today, marital settlement, financial settlement, new job, new open door, salvation, promotion, healing of the eye. Divine settlement. Malebra in the bush. Having your own property. For I want our properties to be shared this month. So they have not shared their property. Eh? I know this case. I command any hand that is holding it to, re to, re to release it now. In the name of Jesus. Malebaba Eskoto. Zanana in Daya. You own God. Amen now. Amen simply means let it be so. Amen is a signature. Amen is a seal to your prayers. Receive it now. Le Baba in the Bosha. Le Bra in the Bosha. Hey, grant me total divine healing. You are healed now. You are healed now. You are healed now. You are healed now. You are traveling already. You are healed now. You are healed now. Your settlement. You are receiving it. Receive your miracles. Receive your testimony. Receive your customers. Receive your customers. Receive your favor. Receive your open door. Receive a new job. Receive your healing. Receive your favor. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your testimony. Receive your favor. Zanana Escoto. Le Baba Indenia. Escoto Lebra. In Dananania. Lebra Escoto. Malebra Indaya. Zanana Escoto. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your miracles. Thank you for blessing your people. Thank you for crossing us into a new month. August will give you wealth, life. Open up, promotion, divine healing, visa, 
contract, job, contact, receive that grace. So shall it be unto you. Let the God that, that crown David the cry you. Bible said and God said, anointing for this is he. Hear the word of the Lord. Grace is locating you, for you are the one. A king in the bush is my topic. I remember your sister, evangelist, reverend, Oluchi Precious. In case you are watching on YouTube, or in Martin of Change World, our word for this program is evangelist, Oluchi Precious. Can God bless you. God bless you. Meet you on Monday. Congratulations. We are now in a new month with a new testimony, with a new level, with a new favor. Congratulations in Jesus' name.